Thanks for coming round. We'll make you laugh before you go. Welcome to the Merman. Welcome to the show. All right. You blow. Wow. My lungs feel good. I've been swimming. I was actually going to say that might have been the best yeah. conk blow ever. Is my phone yeah. on? I've been swimming. Your phone Is your phone on? No, is it like on the pocket? I just plugged it in. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Did you do that on purpose? No. I mean, I have it plugged in, but... Is this a new <laughs> intro song? <laughs> our new intro song? You think this yeah. is our new intro song? You never heard this song? No, is this Bad Money? What? <laughs> no, no, no. You don't know this song? I don't think I recognize it. What? Is it new? No. Do you know the song, Louise? No. Oh, I thought Thank the, you, Louise. Thank I you. I thought, like, growing up in Miami, you should know the song, though. This would be, like... A red dance hall kind of. Right. I like, like that we're immediately going into copyright claim. <laughs> to this episode. Yeah, I think we've kissed that goodbye. I think anyone's suing us. <laughs> not making any money. On I don't know shit. what we're allowed to talk about or not talk about. Speaking of which, someone just sent us these. So we are not necessarily beers. sponsored by. These are beers. No, these are wa- it's water. Every podcast has them. Yeah, I know. So it just gives us credibility. All the yeah, big yeah. podcasts. Just leave these empty on the thing. We Drink got, Liquid like, Death. Thanks, during, Liquid Death, for sponsoring yeah. us. It wasn't Liquid. It's somebody who's sponsored by Liquid Death who hit me up and said, hey, man, I've got more Liquid Death than I know what to do with. Do you want me to send you some? So we're like subreddited. Who's sponsored, sponsored by Liquid Death? I can't even remember who sent it to me, to be honest. I'm <laughs> terrible about that. How do you not remember who sent you a package? I don't remember. It was a lot. They asked but me also, it's somebody that's successful if Liquid Death is sponsoring them. Yeah, they asked. It was. I think it was someone in the barbecue world. I think they hit me up and uh, and someone actually one of our one of our fans sent me sent us this. Do you know the fan? Quite a long time ago. First name at it's least. Been sitting in my car. Uh, no, but the name of the what do you company. Mean no? I don't remember. It's on it the comes, box right there. I messaged so because I have the burden of messaging all of our friends or our fans back. So they all just get what? lost in my brain. Why the burden? What do you mean? Because you don't answer anybody. <laughs> so I'm like, hey, man, thanks for being a fan. I appreciate you. Uh, I, I write back once in a while. The coffee shop is called Coffee Shop of Horrors. And you and can it's show all the camera, themed, not to oh, me. Yeah. Coffee, yeah. and they have different theme. Here's go. Let, me, let me see one. Spe- oh, speaking of co- uh, copyright. Oh, it's Roast Busters. I guess they change it just enough. Coffee um, Shop of Horrors. Thanks where, where for hooking it up. Where is it located, Coffee Shop of Horrors? Well, I think it's just an online. <laughs> no, by Beans. it says Coffee Shop of oh, Horrors. Monteverde, Florida. Yeah, in you Florida. You can actually go. We should have gone there while we Wait, were in Florida. what's the guy who told us about coffee? There was a guy who talk, told us about coffee. He told us where, how coffee started. Oh, that's a different guy. Not him. That was Blue Butterfly, uh, my buddy Dale. It's not on the box? Window. It's not on the box? No, it just says Coffee Shop of Horrors on the box. Wow. Well, thanks, yeah. mystery person. No, he's a cool that guy they, that I message with every yeah. now and then. I just can't remember who he not is. Not that cool. You don't remember his name. Yeah. I just. I well, if you're in Florida or if you can buy it online and you want some cool coffee, this is Obi and Lil Sean Morning Blend. Yeah. Roasted chestnut with a zombie on the front. Yeah. And coffee that's a shot to the head. Phil, Philip Nutman's Wet Work. Yeah. They're really going hard on these themes. Coffee Shop of Horrors. All right. Well, thanks. Yeah. I loved Little Shop of Horrors when I was a kid. It was one of the first. Are we starting the uh, podcast? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, real quick. I yeah. think this might be, the coffee might be from Arisha from Michigan because she asked for our P.O. box number. Uh, no, don't think so. It doesn't matter. Right, well, <laughs> okay. I'll go check the did P.O. box. Did she send us the liquid death? Uh, no, definitely did not. All right. Well, thanks. <laughs> First quarter. Uh, just on on the topic, I uh, loved Little Shop of Horrors as a kid. It was one of my favorite movies ever, and I bought that soundtrack on cassette, cassette tape. It was one of the first cassettes that I bought myself. I, I never to, never seen it. Really? What? No, with Steve Martin. <laughs> Steve Martin and Do you know all the things on great. this podcast yeah. that you have not seen or heard that Rick I Rick Moranis. Like, don't come at me. Suddenly see more. If you standing beside no. me. Why is Dave singing on this podcast? Man, it was, it's because of musical. Down town uh, where the food is slop. I would watch. Uh, I didn't watch any of that shit. But I, I did. You ever? This, this was. Did you ever watch? Um, uh, faces of death. Yeah, dude. Like when someone would pass around the VHS and pass them around. I, I thought you'd buy them. 
Oh, my I, friend bought them or something. I think we always just acquired them. Yeah. They just made the rounds. Yeah, Faces of Death was great. That's what Do I was like. Faces of Death is, Luis? Never heard of it. Yeah, because you're fucking young. It bro. was basically the internet before the now internet. It's just, it, now yeah. it's just fucking Twitter. Yeah. Like, you, you see it all the time now. The Twitter filters, they've removed all the filters on Twitter now. Okay, so Faces of, so face of Death, if you don't know, it was, it was like volume one, two, three, four, five. And it was just people... Dying, yeah, yeah, basically, and it was kind of <laughs> there'd be a guy that was like parachuting and landed an alligator farm or something. Yeah. You're like, oh shit, like, like they were, fought, you know, it, it was and, like, it was like you were a kid and and you were like, yo, you want to see a dead body? Yeah, yeah, and, and then you pull out this this VHS tape and you're like, you're about to see twelve. And it was one of the things that kids would lie about too. You've seen Faces of Death Volume Three, and if someone said no, then they would just make up what was on it. Clearly, <laughs> yeah. there's a thing where a guy yeah. gets stretched by a car. You're like, why? Wow, you're just making this up now because I haven't seen. It. And it's it, hard. It was hard to get. It really is tremendous, though. How? Not. I mean, not an honor, or it wasn't special, obviously. But it was just. What? It, <laughs> it was rare. It was rare. Like you were like, "Whoa, we're wa we're actually watching actual footage of." I don't someone. know where they came from. Yeah. yeah, and and now it's literally you could watch hundreds of it on your phone right now. Like you, you have no problem finding. Some, something happened on Twitter. Well, not something. Fucking Elon Musk bought it. Now yeah. it's X, and they removed. You know, he's like free speech, free speech, and when doing that. They removed all these like safeguards that were like not allowing you to see people dying. Like, like th now there's just people dying on Twitter. Like, and you don't even want to see it. You're like, oh, no, what's this? Stuff. And then the guy's just getting hit by a car. And then, then the comments is like, I think, I hope he's okay. Confirm <laughs> dead. Is someone yeah. does the next one? Like, yeah, the yeah. fact checking feature actually helps yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, the, like, the, right, the, cool. the the footage from like. Um, you know, the wars going on, or it's just, I mean, it's yeah. gruesome, bro. The shit they show on TV. You, you'd win, like, if you got any of that footage back to somewhere that, that became in national news, like, you would win an award for that. Now it's just like people are live streaming bodies strewn about, about everywhere. It's it's incredible the way that media has changed in just a generation or two. There's some old man talk that we're yeah. doing, but still. <laughs> When I was a kid, well, we had to work to get our war Do you not like it, Lewis? And you're going to be old soon, too, anyway, so we can't keep asking you questions about being young. <laughs> but do you? does it bother you, the violence that you see? Um, well, look, I never want to see any of that stuff, yeah. but I'm also the kind of guy that, like, if I see it once, I'm like, okay, well, my brain already saw it. I have to keep watching this oh. and, like, try to, like, see it in slow motion. So, like, there was this, I don't know if it's the same when you were talking about, you said getting hit by a car. It was like in the eighties. Some dude was running across a NASCAR mm. uh, course. Yeah. That's probably refuel. in phases of death, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I think maybe a car was like about to catch fire, so this guy was crossing to extinguish it. Yeah. And then this other car was didn't like, look left. Yeah. <laughs> another car was slipstreaming another, and yeah, just ran into him at one hundred eighty miles an hour. Bye bye. Ooh. And this guy, you see his whole body fucking disintegrate. Was like uh, he was extinguished. What? <laughs> what was the word you just said? <laughs> Incinerated. What's disintegrated? In, what's incinerated? <laughs> he was all. He was all of it. that guy got incinerated, disintegrated, and extinguished. Incinerated. Yeah, it's it's one of those things. Like, yeah, I didn't want to see that, but then I've watched it like fifteen times in a row because I was I, trying to like see how. Yeah, many but that, but that when you see a body flying through, it's different than like. Have you ever seen an ISIS beheading video? Ah, uh, no, no. I, I usually have that. enough time. Let to, me just like, tell you scrolling. right now: do not do yeah. that. I did that by accident. It was, when, it was when I was working on the Jim Jeffrey show, and you know we they we would get these packages. Didn't you do that? That was I oh know that was Brock and and Brian at the end were were doing that. Where the, you get these whatever our topics for that week, there'd be like a research packet that would be given mm -hmm. to you. And I don't remember what we were doing, but I clicked on something. You know, YouTube like suggests the next video. Yeah, I think I guess it was YouTube. So it kept like going, and I was letting it go, and then I just looked up, and it was an ISIS beheading video Jesus. off something that we. And I was like, it was like on YouTube. I don't know what it was on. Well, if I'm scrolling on Instagram, and I don't remember it, what it was on, but it was fucking awful. Yeah. They were on a playground too. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, it was like dark. really bad. Yeah, don't look, uh, um, don't look up any of this. Yeah, I mean, that if you're gonna behead up. someone, at least do it somewhere appropriate. Um, I, if I'm scrolling on Instagram and in something <laughs> where's <it's> appropriate <laughs> to be on, <laughs> that's the joke. It's terrible. No, but I mean, I throw it out there. Like, yeah. Where's appropriate? A Ralph's. dark, a dark cave yeah. somewhere. I don't know, like a uh, cave somewhere that's like a it sounds in, racist now. In, in, yeah, it was pretty racist. You made it. You made it. We were on the right side of this. Yeah. <laughs> Go back to your caves. I did screw that up. Uh, an indescript room somewhere. I don't know. Um, no, but if I'm scrolling on Instagram and something comes up where it's like blurred out and it said like you know have to tap this in order to see it. Mm -hmm. 
even if it's something I know I don't want to see, I'm like, well, I gotta, I gotta see it now. I gotta tap it. You know what? You, you know said what I, incinerated. Yeah. What did it? it what did you say? Incinerated. No. In yeah. This, incinerated. Disintegrated. In, 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 Dis- disintegrated is the word I was looking. You for. also said indescript right now. What? What's going on with you today? Did I not use indescript? Uh, is it nondescript? I don't know. I don't know. You're going with in all day. Semantics, bro. Semantics. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, you know what I have a hard time with, though, is if uh, someone gets a football injury and it's like the knee buckles sideways or uh, something, and then they show it. And then they show it. And then they show it. And then they show it like in slow motion. I can't watch that, yeah. Yeah. I, I, the, the, I, like, the, I have uh, to watch. I, I like that the networks won't show it because if they do show it, I have to watch it. And nah. I'm just like, I don't want to see it. I'm like, you're sparing nah. me for myself. I wait until you can see, like, what's happening right before i'm like and I, I already can predict it and i turn away i'm like i can't do it anymore I, I can't i can't look like that that one that nick chubb had yeah fuck that the one the worst one ever I saw that was by accident the worst one ever was the for me was the college kid who his leg broke right below his knee and his leg just flopped what if it was you what if there's a video of you getting an injury can you watch it that'd be tough yeah that would be awful i would hate to see my dreams get dashed like that dreams yeah. What dreams? I was going to be in the pros, and then that pros happened of, to pros me. Pros of what? I mean, I don't know. You're the one who painted this fake scenario. <laughs> something happened to me. What could you be a pro in? I could be a pro in a lot of things. I get it. I think about this a lot. Mm. You never know if, uh, you know, let, let's just say I was raised in a particular place where opportunities were afforded to me. Maybe I could have been in the NBA. You don't know. I could have been one of these guys who gets bored. Opportunities were afforded to you. You flew around in helicopters and planes. What do yeah, you mean? What yeah. opportunities were you needing? But yeah, but my, my parents <laughs> didn't know, like, you know. <laughs> how, to, how to do a layup. Yeah. <laughs> how to box out. I mean, I did have, I did have, a, <laughs> did have a basketball hoop on a tennis court. And we played a lot of basketball. You couldn't have played bas- basketball. You need height. That's the thing. But I was tall for my Fo- age. Football, you don't need it. You can play at any size in football. Yeah, I did. I did. Play and football. also, like, th- th- that's why, uh, you know, I've been on this round. Well, I don't want to get into it too much, but like, if when quarterbacks are, anyone can be a quarterback. You just have to want to be a quarterback. And then depending on. You got to study and be and, smart. And the better you are, is the smarter you are. Mm-hmm. The dumber you are, the worse the quarterback you are. Or if you just have such talent that you can overcome everything. But, but that, it's all about the talent, though. I mean, I'm yeah. all about the the practicing and stuff with that. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Basketball like, is like height. Yeah. You got to have height first. Unless you're the best player. Like, unless you're like just so good. You're 5'4". You're like, I can do this. Like, you're Chris Paul. So or what I like hear that. is that you think I could have been an elite quarterback. No, I don't think you could have done any of it. You're too dumb. I would have been a pretty good quarterback. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> you would have been. Wouldn't have been very mobile. Incintegration. <laughs> <laughs> Omaha. Uh, you know what it is? I, I was thinking about this the other day. Sports. This is why men like sports so much is because when you watch it, you think like, hey, I can't do this right now because I'm older, heavier, yeah. but I could like you watch it and you're like, you know, if I would have trained and this is what yeah. men think. And so when they watch it, they're like, and that's why they get mad too. Like, can we catch this? Yeah. You're like, what do you, they, you know what's going on on the field there right now or in baseball? Right? And so it's the same reason, you know, gotta what? catch that. Gotta. I, I really love like the Jason Bourne movies, uh, the John Wicks, like because yeah, yeah. I watch those and I'm like, look, if I I could have been a Navy SEAL if I was sure. training, yeah. if somebody was like, hey, like at eight years old was like, we were, we're putting on a path, yeah, 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 we, we're gonna weapons train you and martial arts and work you out and stuff. I was like, could have been me, sure, I could have been Jason I, Bourne. I think, I think, I think you could have, yeah. That's why I like watching those movies because I, I imagine. How wild would that have been? I imagine in a, myself. In a different life, you and I could have been co- partners, covert partners. Covert? Oh no, I would have killed you with a pen. He <laughs> 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 <You> would. <laughs> first mission, I would have been talking too loud. You would have been like, I have to think about it for the safety of the mission. Dude, I mean, how cool would it be? I could do that. I don't have really any family left. I don't have any kids. I'm not married. I'm like a prime candidate to yeah. be one of those assassins. Yeah, you, you should, know, where yeah. they're like, hey, he's got no ties. Yeah. If you got anybody that's worried about, I got nobody. I just have to get a home for Arnie, and then I can become an, a trained assassin for the CIA. Do you want me to look into this for you? No, you can't do it. It's it's, it's my my journey. I might know some people I, that I, can I, recruit you. I'm just saying. What if I, be, what if I, if, if you saw, if I came back in two years, just disappeared in two years and came back and I was ripped, 
know that I'm an assassin. No. All right. Yeah. And you're like, <laughs> where and, you been, Forrest? And then I'll be like, just, <sighs> just working out. And then you yeah. see me run down the street and you're like, holy shit, he's so, his cardio is good too. Yeah. And then um, a dog barks and I just put my hand out and it stops. <laughs> and then some guy tries to rob you. You see all yeah. this me running down the street. Yeah. You know, you know, rob, you know, poor tries to rob me. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely Portuguese. That's yeah. a, that's one you would learn for spies. Mm. <laughs> this is a big spy language. <laughs> and uh, I'm rooting for this. Twelve passports. I don't think you can travel as much now. Like you, if you're one of these fucking guys, you can't just. It doesn't matter if you have a passport with this facial recognition. I was going to say, that. yeah. It, it, we're talking about how things have changed us from faces of death to now on social media. Yeah. What's really changed is all that. Like so many movies of those spy movies it would just be like, they would have got Jason Borm in 10, 10 minutes. Someone would have posted on Facebook. He would have been in the background. They would have geo located him and they would have just blown up that whole square. Well, was, I used to have a Jason Bourne joke. What was that? It was something about like, if, if Jason Bourne had my body, they would just stop looking for him. That's what it was, something like that. He's got five days tops yeah, to live. Yeah. <laughs> something like they'll, that. He'll show up at a Burger King somewhere. Uh, yeah, we don't have to worry about him. He's uh, he's not a threat anymore. He's 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 been the threat has been disabled by the sugar. <laughs> was that the horn? He's got such a nice volume now. I know, yeah, man. He's, trying to protect you guys. Yeah, thanks. Barely even noticeable. It was just kind of like a dream. <laughs> Second quarter. It's almost like we're professional. Yeah. Real, real quick, actually. Fun fact. Um, John Wick 2. You guys seen it? Two? The second one? John yeah. Wick 2. I've seen four. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> Even I've seen John Wick 2. <laughs> well, you've seen two. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I also watched two, but watched it with Keanu Reeves. I was in the same room. It's not a fun fact for us. Yeah, well, that sounds you. like a braggart fact. It's a fun <laughs> fact for you, yeah. <laughs> Well, all right. When uh, you say the same room, was there a lot of people in the room? Yeah, I did, mean, yeah. But was it did, just you well, and Keanu? Did so, Keanu knew you were in the room, <laughs> or you were just sneaking in? Speaking of spies, <laughs> no, I was I was interning for the production company. Um, Luis is like, you know, stalking's a lot like being a spy. <laughs> I saw the funniest meme the other day about Adam Driver. It said Adam Driver is what looks like if somebody tried to draw Keanu Reeves from memory <laughs> and you don't even have to see the picture yeah, that no, it's 100% um, alright so you got to did, did Keanu Reeves say anything to you he's known for being a very nice man uh, I did talk to him after but he sat in the row right in front of me so was he, was, he like Luis what were your thoughts on the movie I mean he didn't ask the producer did ask but yeah. I mean first of all it was funny because we saw a rough cut it was like there were some scenes missing and it was just yeah. a hand drawn like picture of Keanu sitting in a house on fire you know Mm. Uh, and says like, "Oh, waiting for graphics." Yeah, and then there was another part. Do you guys remember the infamous scene where he like kind of is beating people with a pencil and like? Yeah, he's... in the library, right? Of course. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. said that I would want to kill people with a pen. Yeah. So that whole scene that was like, because that's all like in post, you know. So they yeah. made they had a clip art pencil that was very choppy, uh, yeah. kind of just floating around. That's not they, good. they said, "Waiting for VFX," and that so the movie sucked. Was it? <laughs> wasn't that? Wasn't version. that the scene with uh, Bobon? Wasn't he in that? I don't know. The NBA player? All right, look. We're supposed to be talking about the oh, Super Bowl sorry. this, yeah, this quarter. I, bl I bled in too. Goddamn fucking <laughs> Super Bowls this week. We, we could start. We could start second quarter. You know? No. Second quarter. Oh. I could have been in the Super Bowl if I just trained to be an elite quarterback earlier in life. Different opportunities. Um. Yeah. My uncle's a big U.S. And we booster. don't know who's in the Super Bowl, to, to, be, to be transparent. There's four teams left right now. Well, I mean, we could do a lot with editing. 49ers versus the Lions. For, for example, I can't wait to see who's in the Super Bowl. It's uh, going to be a – I can't wait no, to – No, 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 no. I can't wait to – wait, here, clip this. Jesus. No, no, I can't no, no. wait to watch the big game. It's going to be a good matchup of Lions. No. Wait, why are you doing a different voice? So that he can <laughs> – Yeah, but it's still your voice. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Lions. <laughs> It's going to be a fun matchup of the Detroit Lions and or. No, all you got to do is this. You're doing this wrong. Just be like, hey, the Super San Francisco 49ers. Shut up. You can do like, this is how you're going to do it. Hey, Super Bowl's this weekend, and it's the San Francisco 49ers versus the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good lineup. Cut. <laughs> hey, the Super Bowl's this weekend, and it's the San Francisco 49ers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. That's good. Hey, man, Super Bowl's this weekend. Can what? you believe that? Who's the, in it? You know who's in it. 
<laughs> Two rules this weekend. It's the Lions versus the Chiefs. What a matchup. The matchup we all knew was going to happen. Man, I can't believe the Super Bowl this weekend. It's the Lions versus the Ravens. Yeah. Well, who do you think is going to win? The AFC representative or the NFC representative that we just named? I think the Ravens are going to win it all. I think so, too. <laughs> Hopefully they're in the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah, you win the Super Bowl this year? Uh, n- not officially, but... Um, in Vegas, maybe. A little, a little birdie called me up recently and said... If I were to get Super Bowl tickets, would you want to go? <laughs> what is this? A little birdie. <laughs> so I might get Dave's it. He has his hands and his fingers. Yeah. Like, like he's like Edward Scissorhands. So like, the, the little birdie came little up and said, birdie. what are you doing Super Bowl weekend? And I said, I don't know. And he goes, I might get tickets and invite you. And then, so I'm just waiting. <laughs> What's happening? I don't know. But I like, that was a bird scratching the I like, mic. I like cat force. <laughs> As a bird. The same guy that got you tickets last year? Uh, yeah. Who are you taking? Uh, he's taking me. Oh. Oh, because last year you, you you just went with somebody. Oh, so you're not taking me. Yeah, last year I called my buddy Pat, uh, who's a huge Eagles fan, on Saturday. And I said, <laughs> I've acquired two tickets to yeah. the Super Bowl. I'm a Super Bowl fan. Yeah. Would you like to come? And, and <laughs> he, got on a, he got on a flight and came. All right. Well, if, the, if you get an extra ticket. I'll... I'll Keep you in my thoughts. It's going to be no hotels. Mm. Oh, we'll figure that out. Yeah. Stay at Michael goes. There you go. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> I haven't asked him. But <laughs> well, yeah, Bert and Tom will be there doing a show, too. Uh, so that'd be fun to cruise by there, go to those parties. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Either way, though, it's going to be fun. My dream. I'm, uh, I'm going to be, if I, if, I'm, if I don't go, I'm going to be going hard in the yard at my house. Yard hard. It's really catching on, by the way. I've never seen you is it pitch true? something, and it's taken so long to get to fruit. You're like, we're going to make T-shirts. You know how yeah. easy to make T-shirt in 2024? Yeah, I need a graphic designer. Or 2023? Or 2022? I need I need one of those companies where I don't have to have the T-shirts shipped to me like we did with our T-shirts. Yeah, they exist. Cafe yeah. Press, they're out there. You don't have to Are like... good, though? And they make good shirts? I, I guess you, I think you get to pick what shirts, and then they give you the price based on that, that they're going to yeah. charge you. That's what I need. Well, they're out there. I want all, I want none of the middleman duties. Yeah. Um, bu- 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 I uh, the I've never been to Super Bowl. I don't think I would want to go to Super Bowl. It seems like it's better to watch it on TV. I got. I mean, I got to tell you, I think the NFL experience in general is way better these days. Where I just went to the uh, Bills Dolphins game, and it was actually really cool. A lot of the renovations they've done to the stadium since last time I was there are awesome. We sat like a these, month ago. You went to that? We, yeah, yeah. We sat in these awesome seats that were like it's literally like a recliner uh, in the stands. Uh, you have access to the free food and drink, and then, but it's just because we had really expensive seats, you know. But I agree with you. It's it's just as fun. To, everyone's got a big awesome TV these days, and the footage is like they use the cinematic cameras now after someone scores a touchdown. It's awesome, but. I got to say, after going to the Super Bowl last year, it was a really cool experience. It's neat to be there. You know what's stupid about the, the NFL? You know, I electric. go on and on about what's stupid the NFL is since we're talking about yeah. it. Playoffs just ended, and now they're in Vegas where it's climate controlled anyways, indoors, whatever. But the whole season, the whole season. Beautiful weather. Is played in good weather. And then the most important part of the season, yeah, they're like, yes, yeah. ice, snow, yeah. cancellations. Most important part of the season, are like, we're going to need fans to come down with snow shovels and get this cleared. And then you're out the there. Dolphins, the Dolphins Chiefs game, there was literally ice on the field. And they're yeah. like, this is how it was in the fifth Newt Rockney. And it's like, shut up. We're in this 20, yeah. It's a bazillion dollar industry. And they're letting like... These million dollar athletes just yeah. like fucking run around on ice. Put, yeah, put domes on your stadium. It's your fucking dumb. Yeah. And then anyone's like, that's the thing about it. It's home field. And it's, no, it, you know what that would be like? That'd be like, it would be like if, like in, in basketball, if a team like got like poured like syrup on a floor or something like that. And they were like, yeah, the floor's sticky yeah, now. That's what we do here. Home, home court advantage, <laughs> yeah. baby. Hey, man, look, when yeah. you come to Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah and the ball doesn't bounce. So you can still yeah. play, but you'd be like, what the fuck's going yeah. on in this thing? It's look, like, we just, we yeah. know cheat. Hey, look, yeah. it'd be another thing too, uh, which I've, I'm open to figuring out a way to make this happen, by the way. Put syrup on the Lakers? No, floor? but it was know. like, if, if the Miami Dolphins were in, entirely made up of people that grew up in Miami. And the Buffalo Bills were entirely made up of people who grew up in Buffalo. Then I get it, but they're not. They're from everywhere. So you if that was the case. Miami would win the Super Bowl every year. Yeah. It'd be Miami or a California or Texas team winning the Super Bowl each yeah, year. Yeah, be awesome. That's where all the talent comes from. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, 
but I, I, I don't, it, it, yes, it's, you might get a little used to it because you play there more often, but at the end of the day, it's not really, the fans give you a little bit of a home feel because you got all the, the, the no, crowd right. noise and whatever. Just, the why is it outdoors in football? You can't yeah. explain that to me. The, you know, and you know why it is, is because that's how it started. And they're like, it's the tradition. Green Bay should absolutely be in a dome. When they when it's like a playoff game, they're like, this is what it's all about. Minus 23. What do you mean? It hasn't been like that all year. Yeah. All year it hasn't been like that. And now you're like, this is the playoffs. You go, you go, go home or stay here or whatever the fuck yeah. the saying is. It'd be more fun <laughs> if the first few games were in like really weird conditions just for the fun of it. But then as the season went on, it's like, all right, now we're playing real football. Yeah, and if that's the case, then if it's if that's the case, then why not just make the Super Bowl who has the best record? So then you're like, Super Bowl's in Green Bay. I'll tell you why, because it's a fucking shit product. And when they did the Super Bowl, like remember they had the Ice Bowl, and it's like they're like, this yeah. is dumb. So then they're like, we're only having the Super Bowl in Miami, New Orleans, uh, Arizona, or yeah, just rotate Los it. Angeles for the most part. Now it's in Vegas, which is in a dome, so yeah. it's fine. It'll be chilly probably outside, but it'll be in a dome. But uh, yeah, it's fucking dumb, and I I don't like football anyways, but. I just think it's like, I mean, I like, you know, I've had this fucking discussion. I think it's the, just the yeah. fucking bunch Your of Your team, Denver Broncos, has one of the uh, most notable ones just where the altitude gets you. Yeah, Denver shouldn't have any sports teams. Yeah. Denver, anything with altitude, you, you're out. Or you got to just put your stadiums, you got to dig a hole and, and put your stadium <laughs> in there so it's like sea level. Because that's what kind of like, like that's definitely something you get used to is altitude. Yeah, that's so like an the, advantage. Like the you're Denver there. Nuggets, there, yeah. like the Denver Nuggets, arguably forget football because you're playing in spurts, <clears throat> but like something like an anaerobic sport like basketball where you're just stop, start, stop, start, stop. Like the Denver Nuggets, they get used to it. So Jokic's used to it. You, that fucking big old turd. You think if he was like sea level and came up, he couldn't be. So that's a total advantage. Yeah, I mean they're good. He's a good player. Obviously. I'm not saying he's not, but but that's an advantage. Um, there was there's something else. No, I guess it's altitude. Because I know when the U.S. Uh, Mex uh, U.S. soccer team goes to Mexico City, they're like, "What's Mexico City? Is it like six or seven thousand feet above sea level?" I don't know. I yeah, guess. I you're know fucking that. Mexican. Know you're supposed to know everything, <laughs> Luis. I know that. <laughs> What's the goddamn? Idiot? This is research you need to do for yeah, your wedding. Yeah, it's part of your wedding research. This guy preparing for his That's wedding, so by the way, it's crazy. Um, the, well, the, the uh, 7,349. See, dude, yeah. how do I know more about your country? I'm more Mexican than you, dude. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> Hola. It, it sounds silly, <laughs> but. 7,300 feet, by the way? Yeah. That's fucking bananas. It's 100% a thing, by the way, that South Beach is an advantage for the Miami Heat. Because there's so many times when there's like a day game, when they have like a, a Saturday, like 1 p.m. Oh, game, yeah. where you, it's like tangible how much the other team is just dragging ass uh, and yeah. sweating booze out yeah. if i was and, if i was bolster i would have all the strippers at the booby trap on yeah. on the payroll yeah. and you'd be like here's the hotel where the celtics are staying yeah. here's jason tatum's room number just give it an old knock in the door <laughs> see how he's doing send him bottle service bottle yeah, service yeah. bottle service yeah, they're they're at like the South Beach Chili's and there's bottle service showing up. Yeah, it's an advantage. But I did say I remember telling this story in the podcast. So I saw David Wells drinking at Crowbar one night at one in the morning, and I bet a whole bunch of shit on him, and he fucking threw like a one hitter, just sweating. <laughs> yeah, but he's like an he's, old. Alcoholic. I was gonna say that's he, a, he was that just, outlier. He was just sweating whiskey yeah. out, just fucking one hitter against the Marlins. I was like, fuck. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, I literally saw this guy fuck up at a club. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> those baseball players are built different, bro. Yeah, the basketball for sure, definitely football. That's you're out in the heat the whole fucking time. That'd yeah, be brutal. The equipment on. That'd be brutal, bro. Anyways, NFL, get your shit together. Your fucking product's falling apart, and you've, you're losing customers. Probably not with Taylor Swift this year. <laughs> I think he's doing fine. I think they're going to try and get the cheese. I hate the fucking cheese. So the cheese are in the Super Bowl. It's rigged. You think so? Yeah. The Chiefs, They're not that good this year. Yeah. And they want Taylor Swift to be there. And there were some bullshit calls in that game against Buffalo. Buffalo sucks. They fucking made some bad. Yeah. Anyway. Now, the Chiefs get the benefit of a lot of calls the past few years. It seems like... Taylor always, Swift, bro. Yeah. This, they, and they, they, knew they, didn't I, have, they knew they didn't have the squad this year. And they're like, we need to give the NFL a reason. We got to give the script writers a reason. And then they're like, enter Taylor Swift. The script writers. I would very, like to get that job. How do you get the job? Very convenient storyline. Chiefs. Is he Gerard Carmichael was in there in the No. In the he was in the uh in the suite with Taylor Swift? Yeah. That's so really? random. I was like, what? A guy we used Where to do a guy we used everywhere. to do bar shows with. Yeah. <laughs> He's just chilling up there. He was wearing like a white fur or something. <laughs> Sounds about right. Yeah, I'm just like, all right, all right, dude. All right. 
Who's this? Gabagool? Gabagool. Gabagool the cat. Gabagool. Gabagool. Um, that's it for our Super Bowl preview. Yeah, I think that's yeah, as about as good as we're gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. You're running out of steam. Yeah, I don't think we used up all the time. <laughs> that's okay. Thirty seconds left. Yeah, we can go to halftime. That's because you did your fucking piano shit. Yeah, you right. doubled up on the fucking. <laughs> don't ever talk in this podcast again. <laughs> By the way, I did talk to Keanu after the screening. There we go. Wow, what did he say? Go? What did he say? Well, so the movie ended, and then it was a three-hour-long cut. First of all, good movie, Keanu. Well, so the movie ended, and he turns around and goes, is it over? I got to take a piss. Everyone laughed. He took a piss, came back. We all gave her reviews. Then later, I was leaving, and I ran into him in the parking lot. He was getting on his motorcycle. Oh, I wish I was there for this. (laughs) So he's getting on his motorcycle. Were you getting in your Woody station wagon? No, I didn't. I had a 96 Maxima at the time. So, uh, yeah, I just kind of stopped by and like, hey, Keanu, like, sorry, just wanted to say hi. Like, I was just at the screening, you know, I'm an intern here. And then he like came over, shook my hand. He was like, thank you. Thank you for like being a part of this. I was like, oh, I love you. <laughs> that was nice. Nice guy. <laughs> wow. Did you just come? <laughs> <laughs> Louis like, uh, I didn't know if it was appropriate to say hi inside. So I'm going to be inappropriate <laughs> out here. <laughs> I followed him into the parking lot. Yeah. All right. Third quarter. Here, Dave, I got something for you to see. What? Just hang on. I got a fucking. All right. This is something you have planned? This is you. This is me? Well, now I'm scared. It looks like you. There you go. What? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> this is what you were waiting for? Here you go. <laughs> Come on, bro. That doesn't look like you? I mean, no. <laughs> He's got a mustache. I love this guy. Dude, your face looks like Nicholas. Louise. I said this to Louise earlier. (laughs) The hair, too, a little bit. I didn't find this, by the way. I couldn't leave her if I tried. Yeah, that's you. Wait, let me see. Who is this guy? That's Mike Miyagi do. And on, this is like some TikTok. sort of viral clip or something? No, I don't know. Um, He's got a big following, right? Ian Baggs showed it to me at the comedy store the other night. He goes, he goes look, this is Dave. <laughs> <laughs> and at first I was like, what? And I go, Wait, oh, this is yeah, going around is. behind my back? Yeah, yeah. I think, he's, I think he said it. He didn't. I, he At the store, he sent it to me at the store. But he had sent it to, I think, some other. I don't know. Maybe. Mike Miyagi Doe. At Miyagi Do student. Yeah. It's a uh, it looks just like you. Is that you? That's not me, dummy. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, okay. Looks like you. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Why are you upset? I'm not upset. I mean the look, clearly <laughs> guys, guys, like, here. Guys, like, guys like a good looking guy. I, yeah, he's got Down syndrome, I think is what you're getting at. <laughs> I'm not yeah, diagn- for all the I'm audio not, listeners. I'm not diagnosing him, you are. <laughs> yeah. No, I think it's it literally says in his uh it says it in his profile. I think we can. <laughs> okay. I think we can. I'm not, making, I'm not making fun of him either. It just looked like you singing a song, and I was like, "All right, thanks." Forrest texted me a link to that video at like what 10 p.m. or something. Never like I got it. Says, the, uh, the uh, bringing this up tomorrow. Well, yeah. no, he just texted it to me, and all he said, <laughs> "Oh, it's happening." Is this him doing this? Oh uh, yeah, this is Down Syndrome Dave. Wow. And he's got more followers than you, to be fair. You should Way be more you should successful be, than He me. should be regular, whatever his name is. I'll do a duet with this guy. Uh, yeah, you should. What? You definitely should do a duet on TikTok with him. You have to sing the song, but... I'll do it. I uh, sing it. Don't, don't make fun of him, though. Yeah. He's got more followers than I know. I, I had a buddy in high school that had Down syndrome. Very lovely people. When you say buddy, I feel like you made <laughs> fun of him or something. Just no, he was a you. teammate. He was on my water polo team. What? And, uh, yeah. Was he good? Well, have we talked about this before? He actually uh, probably. I mean, good. If we haven't, why not? Why haven't we? Was, so, he, was it one of these scenarios where he was equipment manager? You know, no, you, you see, see these that's things online. The thing. I get mad when I. By, see, by the way, okay, yeah. I just want to say before you get into this, All right. I some people are going to get upset thinking we're making fun of this guy. We're not making fun of him. We think but he's. I, a, I think. That it is more, you know, when there's like an equipment manager, there's an equipment manager like Down syndrome or is yeah. mentally challenged, and then they put him in the game and he like hits a three in the base, like, ah. yeah. I feel like that's more 
condescending than sure. anything. Because you're like, especially what about like, that? what the fuck? You hit a basket when you're like, yeah, he could fucking shoot a basketball. What about that kid who had autism and they put him in and he he like rained like ten threes in a row? Yeah, sometimes it's like you guys have been holding this kid down <laughs> yeah, for yeah, like yeah. his whole high school. He could have been out there. Like it wasn't like they were just letting him score. This kid was like uh, dropping buckets. So wait, that like the the the, the guy that had Down syndrome on your water polo team was he good? So he was because um, that would be intimidating to their team because you'd be like, oh, he's got. I, I don't know. Don't, if don't be yeah. be gentle with this. Yeah, thing I don't whatever. know. I don't and then know he comes in and just yeah. and you're like, Fuck. I don't. I don't know if it's fair to say he was good, but he scored goals like le- that were legit goals. Yeah. So I always wondered what that was like for the other. Yeah, because this is what happened. He would he talk shit. There would be nothing. He was like a normal dude. Like, dude, we I would hang I, out with him. I would be great if he went yeah. up and was like, I'm not going to do the voice, but he was like, yeah. fuck in your face. I mean, You're like, what? He, he, so what he, the fuck did this He'd kind of, he'd kind of. And then you're fighting a Down syndrome guy? Because yeah. you could. Like, well, if, you, if you got upset enough, yeah. Sorry. Like, yeah. We, we would, tre- we treated him like he was one of the guys. Like, we didn't treat him any differently, right? He was one of our friends. Like, we took him to team dinners. And yep. uh, I remember we weren't allowed to give him soda. His mom would just be like, yo, could go hang out. I shouldn't say his name actually for the first time. Uh, he can go hang out with you guys, but just don't give him soda. Like soda doesn't agree with him. <laughs> and I remember one time we went to no fun, we went to Fud Ruckers, and then we were going to our for like a pregame, like you know, like t- team bonding. And then we're heading to the pool, and uh, I, I'm at a red light, and Caesar O'Connor pulls up next to me, and uh, rolls the window down and sticks his head out and starts throwing up. And Keep I'm saying like, his name. Oh well, bleep, bleep it. Wait, it's, it's throwing up. Yeah. And so I look over and I'm like. Are you okay? Like there, I'm yelling from the other car, and he looks up at me and he goes, "Mike Scally gave me soda." <laughs> That's that man throw up. Yeah, that we're was like, what? He's like, "Mike Scally gave me soda." <laughs> like he knows he wasn't supposed to have it. That was a kryptonite. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But see, he would he would swim around when he w- got into the game, and he didn't know where to go, so he'd kind of just be like like in the middle of the pool, like 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 he's, he was a very eloquent swimmer. And then we'd get the ball, like we'd get a defensive stop. So it was kind of like he was accidentally cherry picking, yeah. and we'd be like, "Go!" And he'd take off, and we'd send the you ball. Said his down name to him. twenty times, and so now it was like, a, "Keep saying his name." Well, just bleep, bleep yeah, it but he can't. Yeah. It's a lot of work for yeah, him. Stop sorry, saying sorry, his name. Sorry. So, so then it would be like a one on nobody, and you'd see this like uh, this goalie. Like, what do I do? Like, yeah. is it mean if I block him? Or fuck now? And but you know, my buddy that I won't say his name because I respect. Would just be like, I'm putting this away. Yeah, you, you do it. It's not mean if you block it. The guys out there, fucking, what I don't know. What you call the, the the field, the pool. Yeah, the pool. Yeah, <laughs> it's out in the water. Yeah, the water field. But uh, playing, fucking great dude, man. I'd see him at the gym all the that, time. For this years is what I'm after, saying though. Yeah. So let's say you're you're the opposing team. This guy fucking rips in a goal on you, and then he's swimming back and he goes and talks shit like right yeah. in your face. Can you punch him? No, you can't punch him. Why? Come on, man. Shouldn't punch anybody. Like nah, that's I know, but especially but, someone who's But say he went up and he goes, Hey, your fucking mom, I believe you suck my dick the other day. I'm not doing <laughs> I think you should rise above. <laughs> and what if he was like spitting in your face my, saying it? Like, what are you gonna do? Are you just gonna keep <laughs> elevating the situation until yeah. like, I say it's okay to but, punch him? What about he punches you? If anyone touched this kid, the whole team would beat the shit out of you. I'll tell you that. What right about now. if he punches the person first? Is it game on? Well, yeah. Then you got to defend yourself. <laughs> yeah. Very strong. <laughs> and eloquent. <laughs> eloquent. How do you know he's strong? You watch elegant. 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 Did I say eloquent? You said, you said one of the two. Uh-oh. Elegant, elegant or eloquent. I, I, think I think he's eloquent. He's <laughs> <laughs> eloquent swimmer. Even I know that's wrong. <laughs> Uh, how did I let that get by? Because it was making me laugh because he said you were doing it too. You were like this. He was very eloquent. <laughs> He's a great guy. He yeah. still keep in touch. Every now and then he messages me. No. For real. One time I was in a... <laughs> you're going to love this. What, what, do you, what, what, is, what does he message you? Just, hi. Yeah. That's it. And what do you say? What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, what's up? You still fucking crushing puss? <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. I don't know about it. Ah oh, man, I'll see if he knows this guy. Um, I uh, one time. <laughs> you think he knows him? <laughs> you think he knows the guy that did the video? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? There's come on. Could be They're a, in a Reddit room together. Could be a tight knit community. <laughs> uh, one time you're gonna love this. One time I was in. A, we used to play in the basketball leagues at the JCC. Yeah. We used to have really good basketball leagues. Yeah. And um, do you remember Willie Burton? 
The basketball player? Yeah. Yeah. So Willie Burton, out of nowhere one time, because he was a mediocre player, I would say. In the NBA, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you're still good. (laughs) So he must have had the right opportunities growing up that he made the NBA. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. So he (laughs) he out of nowhere dropped like 55 points on the Sixers uh, in a random regular season game. And you could just tell he was feeling it, right? And the place is good, like benches go wild or whatever. And then uh, I think he scored like the 50th point. And as he was running back on defense, he did this little strut where he like high need, mm-hmm. like like kind of high need, uh, like skipped down the court, you know. Mm-hmm. And me and my buddies thought it was so funny, so we used to always mimic it and be like, "Yo, it's the Willie Burton," you know. And so I was playing in this JCC basketball league, and my buddies' games finished up, so they were watching my game, and you know they're being goofballs and cheering for me and everything, whatever. And uh, <clears throat> you know I, I was getting rebounds and facilitating and not really scoring or whatever. And then at one point I go up and I get a rebound and I double pump and the guy flies by me and I just put this little lay in and lay up in. Right. And so my buddies go crazy cheering for me. So, you know, kind of half ironically as a joke. So as I'm coming down the court, I look over him and I start doing the Willie Burton right down the court and they're cracking up laughing and they're going Willie, Willie, Willie. Right. And they just keep laughing and cheering or whatever. And this mom turned around and she was like, Shame on you guys for making fun of a special needs kid. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> they were like, what? Because the way you were running? The, the way I was running, but also she had watched a good point of the game at that point. <laughs> <laughs> like, she, didn't, she still thought I was special needs. <laughs> like, so my, uh, my friends will bring that story up all the time, still to this day. Willie. Willie Day. The Willie Burton, the <laughs> Willie Burton down the court. Apparently it was not a flattering move. Yeah, so you're part of the community then. Maybe that was me. <laughs> everyone thinks it is. What is this everyone? I mean, people that have seen I have it. a lot of doppelgangers out there. I will admit that. You do? That's a new one. I haven't gotten this guy yet. <laughs> Who else Are have you gotten? You should follow him. I'll follow him right now. Mike Miyagi, let's be buddies. I support you. Have you seen my favorite? Have you seen the one... Um, it's uh, the Down Syndrome kid who... Uh, Wait, I thought you were doing more doppelgangers. <laughs> no, I'll do that, yeah, too. Yeah, what are the other doppelgangers? Well, have you seen the one, though, where the kid smashes the beer bottles together? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah cool. Woo! Like, yeah, yeah, my favorite. Step on glass and stuff. Love that kid's energy. Everyone's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's about to step on. <laughs> um, other doppelgangers I've got, the one... Looks, looks fun, to be honest with you, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um... <laughs> The one I get a lot is the dude from Queens of the Stone Age. Josh Home. Is that a name? Home. I don't know. I don't know. No. How do you say Josh's last name? It's H-O-M-M-E. Home. Home. Yeah, I don't know. <sighs> That's fucking. Queens of the Stone Age are awesome. Yeah, I get that a lot. I didn't ever really look at that one. And then uh, back in the day when I used to grow, like, uh, I didn't have the mustache, but Eight. I would just, I'd oh. grow, like, I'd have a, just, like, facial hair on my chin for the most part. I used to get uh, James Hedberg a lot. Is that the guy, uh, Metallica lead singer? Uh, Hetfield. Hetfield. That's yeah. it, James Hetfield. James Hedberg is a guy that is a Metallica that also tells one-liners. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's like, you know when you're a master of the puppet? Yeah. I can't, can't even do it. Uh, this guy. From I could see it. Jo- Josh Holm. I don't know how you say his last name. A little bit. Yeah. And then way back in the day when I was skinnier, I used to and get. James um, Hetfield. Yeah. yeah. What's the guy who played Shaggy and Scooby-Doo? Um, oh, uh uh, Mark, my, the guy from Scream that goes, "I'll be right back." Yeah. That guy, uh, what's his name? Matt. <sighs> what is his name? He was in the Descendants. Matt, Matt Lillard. Matt, Matt Lillard. Lillard. Man, Matthew I got. Lillard. I used to get him a lot back in the day. I think that was uh, gonna be. I got Lance Bass for a little while when I was younger. I don't and think had he looked hair. like any of these guys though. I just you know generic white guy properties. Yeah, no, I, Matthew Lillard, absolutely not. I'm looking at him. Uh, lately, also, I'll get tagged in a lot where people say I look like Mr. Beast's dad. I look like Bowling for Soup. You ever seen that guy? It's a band. Oh. Put him, like, you look like the whole band? No, the, the singer, and he's, like, fat now, too. So mm. um, when you see this, I, I do think I look like him. You, um, know, you know Mr. Beast, right, Luis? Yeah. People say I look like his dad. Uh, yeah, I can see it. Again, just white That's white the people bowling properties. For soup guy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it from here, and I, I yeah. think so. I can't even see him up close, but holy shit! Yeah. That's you for like people like my my friends that were in uh, 
in the fantasy football league and stuff, they went to go see bowling for sure. I guess their fans in San Diego and they were like, Forrest, I didn't know you were in this band. They're just taking pictures again. I'm like, holy shit. That does look like me. I don't even know the band. I've never heard of them, but I guess they're big enough for my friends who have been going to see them in San Diego like last year. So. That's yeah. hilarious. Well, I mean, this one's a little less sexy, but I swear every, I get so often that people just go, yo, you remind me of this guy I went to high school with. And I'm just like, who? And they're yeah. like, just a guy. What about you, Louise? Doppelganger? Uh, when I was younger and had a more profound jawline oh, and uh, yeah. didn't have facial hair, I would get, someone said Mario Lopez's son. Uh, Mario Lopez's son. I'd never <laughs> seen his son. <laughs> well, no, they just like a younger Mario Lopez. Um, I can see that. Yeah. yeah, maybe. But, you know, is he uh, Mexican? Yeah. I think so. Is Who like, told you this? White yeah. people? It was a YouTube comment that I got. Yeah. Hey, you know who you look like? I've been to Mexico. Everybody down there. <laughs> <laughs> Not nice. Uh, Wilmer Valderrama. See that? Wilder, Wilmer Maybe a little Valderrama. Greg Luganis. Yeah. No. Who? What was that? Greg Luganis. Yeah. Him? Yeah, look at his face. Who's that? He's a diver. Olympic yeah. diver. He's got AIDS. Uh, he came out as gay, and then everyone called him Greg Loose Anus. <laughs> Not cool. Nice. Well, I don't. Yeah, I don't support that at People all. People did mean. call him that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll show you this guy because he, he was a gold winning diver, and they were like, "Very talented." He's gay. I don't care anymore. Dude. I can't support him. <laughs> he's a fucking diver. <laughs> uh, you guys for sure wouldn't know this guy because he's a singer of a banda. Banda. Uh, one of the most uh, famous bandas in Mexico. Yeah, that one's okay. I get that one. Yeah, I get that one. What's his name? Alan Ramirez. The Banda MS. It's going to be at your wedding? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fucking planning this goddamn wedding out. For That's, uh, I'm expecting that. Years, bro. Four the amount of effort. Quarter. Are you turning the page on this, Luis? <laughs> Mario Lopez's son. All right. Well, thanks for sharing that video clip with me, Forrest. That was a very fun third quarter. <laughs> yeah, it was just a quarter yeah. on down. Today. Love when you have surprises for me. Thank you, Bag. Thanks, Ian Bag. <laughs> you can text him after the show. <laughs> Again, he texted me that link at like last night, and all he wrote was, "Have you seen this?" <laughs> and then, did you know what he was <laughs> referring to? Like no, he was fishing. <laughs> I watched it at one in the like, morning. I don't want to touch this. It might be a, some sort of scam. <laughs> that's what it sounded. As soon as I typed, I'm like, "Yeah, it's fun." I'll see it out there. <laughs> Have you seen this? Period. Like that's it. <laughs> Have you seen this? And so all I thought was, "Why did you send me this?" And he said, "That's not Dave." <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, it's holy not. shit. I'm going to duet with that guy. <laughs> if you did, song? by the way, if you did, would help the podcast. Yeah. All right. That's what we can do. Mike Miyagi do. Now, I'm not, I, can't, do I can't guarantee you what the comments are going to be in there, yeah. if they're going to be good or bad, but it will get eyeballs on us. Hmm. Duet it, put it on the Merman channel. Well, how do we make it a positive thing? I don't want anyone to. There's a cooking guy. Uh, it doesn't matter how positive you make it. People are going to think the same thing as when you were playing basketball. <laughs> like, <laughs> you're, you're making fun of a special needs person. No. Yeah, no, they, they didn't think I was making fun of him. They thought I was one. That guy's crushing money on TikTok. I don't yeah. know how many followers. Got. Real, man. Speaking Love of that, it. we got we got YouTube comments, right? Oh boy, yeah, we do. Um, wait till, wait till this episode comes out. <laughs> You know, uh, I'm not exactly sure what Hagsy McDuff return commenter uh, means by this, but. Uh, he or she? I think he, because uh, he said bro and something. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's kind of an old one that we hadn't seen. But Thanks for the coffee, Hags. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just thank everybody that does comment. I appreciate the coffee. <laughs> Thanks for the liquid death. So Hagsy comments, Dave finally achieved Bappy with this look. Which look was it? The, the, was the, thing? the, I guy, the, the guy with Down syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> Which episode was it? What was I wearing? It was the Merry Wokemas. You're wearing just what well, you usually wear. Exactly what you're wearing now, a hoodie <laughs> yeah, and a hat. There's nothing's ever. T- <laughs> yeah, you've but, never come in where I'm like, wow, new look. Tell <laughs> me specifically which one it is so I can uh, <laughs> replicate it. I mean, unless they're talking about the thumbnail, but it's you dressed as Santa with like a Santa beard over uh, you. So. Oh, that's probably what it is because uh, you can put like a but gray beard on me. But this is a guy that sent it in. Hagsy. I don't know. All right. Thanks, Hagsy. I'm going to take it as a compliment. Appreciate you. Thanks for the coffee. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, yeah thanks. <laughs> thanks for the, yeah. the water. Then we got West Sidex 3 Pin 4. I don't know. Uh, they just say underrated podcast. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm liking all this positivity, I guys. Honest, I don't think it's rated. Yeah. <laughs> but, but 
but speaking of that, go rate it. Yeah, rate, subscribe, yeah, yeah. and uh, thanks for the coffee. Honestly, whatever yeah. you listen to this podcast on, if you just go and like put like a rating in there and like a little comment stuff, it does help. We did get a new rating um, for the first time in a while. Oh boy, hasn't it, it's been well, on YouTube? Uh, That's no, just a thumbs up. I'm no. talking about like on the podcast platform. Well, we took a, a few Apple weeks podcast. off, so yeah, yeah. Apple Podcast. We got a f- like our first review in a while. Yeah. Oh, a review. Yeah, it was a positive. Review. Uh, um, for some, for some of us, <laughs> please be me, please be me. <laughs> so, uh, it's just, it's titled five stars and they rated it five stars and they say, this is Luke GNZ from New Zealand. And he says, <laughs> New Zealand. Yeah. It says Forrest and Luis are fantastic. Oh, great. Oh, Dave can be hit or miss. Cool. Thanks for your honesty. <laughs> <laughs> still five stars though. Yeah. Still so, five yeah, stars. yeah. Yeah. So it's still five stars. Oh. You gotta look at it that way. Cause if you're. Hit or miss, but we're five stars. Yeah. It's still good. Well, look, someone's got to be the... You even uh, said Louise is good. You didn't even yeah. contribute much that time. Oh, this fucking oh, guy is just like... You said, what did I do I to piss off this guy in New Zealand? We're a movie where yeah. Keanu Reeves gold. <laughs> <laughs> Does that really upset you? Does it hurt you? A little bit. How do you feel? You want to talk about it? No, I just, you know... It's a good I, time for our sponsor, Better just, Help. I just... I just, <laughs> just tell people... I'd rather him just tell me why. Stuff. Like, you know, like, I don't... I mean, I don't care. You're not going to make everyone happy, and there needs to be... Someone's got to play, you know, good cop, bad cop, and, and you can't always be everyone's cup of tea. <laughs> he did send us coffee, though. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah. <laughs> that was really cool. <laughs> and water. Water to make coffee. You need water to make no, coffee. No, that guy didn't send us uh, water. You don't know who did any of it. It's from New Zealand. People, important people. We got a listener in New Zealand. That's if you want to cool. send us coffee or uh, water, it's 214 Main Street, box number 212. El Segundo, California, 90245. But looking forward to giving you credit for sending us stuff yeah. eventually. <laughs> this guy lives in New Zealand, so you know what that means. If I want to go there and do a show, he's going to buy a ticket if you yeah. do so much. So don't book any shows in New Zealand. Well, I've got time to, to make him a fan. Auckland? Yeah. Wellington? Where does he live? Christchurch? Uh, it'll it'll be a hit or miss show. We'll find out which one. <laughs> God, it really <laughs> got to cuts, show him, up to, cuts know. him to the core. He was so excited. Yeah, very before. sensitive. It's a tough podcast for you. First, very sensitive. First, you know, the video. Yeah, I'm leaking confidence for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get him. Just make one up, Luis. That says Dave's great. <laughs> no, oh, the one just came up. What? Yeah. Off, hot off the press. Who's it from? Uh, It's uh, J, JP. Imp- yeah. Improv master. Of, uh, <laughs> JJP. <laughs> JJP from uh, Ohio. <laughs> Giuseppe. What'd he say? Uh, he says, I love Dave. Dave what? is the funniest, has never been hit or miss ever, always consistently mm. good. Thanks to Forrest and Luis. Eh. Oh, how do yeah. you spell eh? eh? Like it's like a superscript, you know? Oh, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, you guys can suck it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thanks, JJP. Yeah, thanks, 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 thanks for the coffee. Thanks for the coffee. Thanks for the coffee. JJ. JJ. Was it JJP? JJP. <laughs> are you in the, Are you in Second City or the Groundlings or something? You're yeah. pretty good at improv. I dude. wanted one you see from J. <laughs> <laughs> How's this? How's it? How's Louise not hit or miss? Oh, yeah. That's fucking terrible. Oh, I keep drinking different waters there. Got liquid death. All right, we got another comment from Kiralee Johnson five two nine. Um, they say heard my name and comment. Love to see Dave behind the peach pit. <laughs> Don't know what that means. Heard um, her name? I I guess Kiralee. K I R I L Y. Heard, heard their name? I don't know if it's a. Uh, yeah. Oh, we were talking about the peach pit after dark. Oh uh, yeah, but there were some comments. I don't know. Peach Pit after dark. What's the Peach Pit? Oh, that was the... Uh, 902 and 0, yeah. Extra show. I never... Yeah, I know. That was my thing. So... I don't want... I guess I didn't watch a lot of the shows people watched. I was a big 902 and 0 fan. I was watching a lot of cool shit on PBS, dude. Tell, tell me if this doesn't... Uh, <laughs> talk about nostalgia and everything. When I was in high school, our crew, we had, like, nicknames for who was who. I was Steve Sanders. I brought that energy. Who's Steve Sanders? He was the one who had the curly blonde. He was the guy from Sharknado. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Ian Ziering or whatever his name is. Yeah. Ian Ziering, yeah. Because he'd always drive like the convertible and he'd be like, what's up, ladies? Like, he was just the cheesy one, you know? Oh, yeah, for sure. That's, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's such a douche. He's. That guy. I'd party with him. He did. Did you watch a screening of John Wick 2 with him? No, no. Oh, <laughs> Sharknado 2. <laughs> Sharknado 2. And the thing is, the thing is, is like when the sharks are in the needles, 
Oops. He was like drawn in, bro. So you can see it. And then he was a talk to Ian Ziering after. Actually, Ian Ziering was in the news recently. Definitely because hit or miss. He, he was in the news recently <laughs> because uh, uh, the, the headline said, like, biker gang attacks Ian Ziering. And you see the video, and it's like this most, the weirdest, like, collection of three people on, like, mini scooters that yeah. got off and got into an uh, altercation with him in the traffic. And he's, like, fighting these, like, three random people. It was bonkers. Mm. Bonkers. Bible bonkers. <laughs> Baby Billy Bible bonkers. <laughs> All right. Any more? Uh, thanks for the coffee. <laughs> thanks. Uh, yeah, Ke- so. Oh, Kearley. Kearley. Kearley Johnson. Kearley. And, yeah, so this is the other comment I was remembering. Hagsy McDuff on this uh, more recent episode, mm-hmm. or the one after the last one. Thanks for coffee. <laughs> Uh, says thanks for the love, bruh. Glad you're back. That's why I think it's a guy now. Oh yeah, you don't, don't think, you don't think a love. chick's right, talking well, like that. You're welcome. You don't think our fucking skirts talking like that, bro? Ask me, Duff. You're welcome. <laughs> and thanks for the coffee. That's gross. <laughs> Why'd you burp? That wasn't me. But if you I want mean, me to burp, I'll burp. I got yeah. no problem with Burr. it. Um, that's cool. Any more comments? Yep. A right. few. Uh, this one comes from 6RE660. I've seen that one before. Um, I just forget who it is. Anyway, it says, some, some suggestions. Throw Luis on camera and less callers and more YouTube comments. Laughing emoji. I like YouTube uh, comments. Wait, less, less callers? Yeah. Less oh. callers, but more YouTube comments. They, oh, okay. I think they want more love to the YouTube comments. So I'm going to go, no, maybe. Okay. Sounds like Louise wrote this. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> I've seen this one before. Well, like but editing the calls. It doesn't mean I know exactly who it is or it's someone in this room, but definitely this seen this one This is also JJP. J- yeah. Well, no thanks. Take your coffee back, buddy. We don't even want it. Yeah. That's what you're going to fucking... Huh? Yeah, still, thanks for the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pontiff Pope, we like him. Do we? We know Pontiff Pope? I remember yeah. all these people. Oh, yeah, he sent us coffee. Yeah, cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, water. Says, says, love the Walter Mercado bit, laughing emoji. Excellent. Really enjoy the interactions with Luis. Hey, look at that. I didn't Man, see that. Uh, this is suspiciously a lot <laughs> of Luis comments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> More Luis. Lu- Luis, are you, are you uh, uh, angling for one of our spots here or something? <laughs> did did, did, did uh, like Jenny make a whole bunch of fake burner accounts? <laughs> 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 a lot of these uh, handles are like <laughs> at 6E294 <laughs> At Luis is dreamy. <laughs> Seven two. <laughs> Anyways, I think more Luis. Also, he's gonna have to take off the next two weeks to plan <laughs> for the wedding. The the planning for your wedding is what? How do we not talk about that? Like, I've never seen a wedding get more planned. Yeah, than it's this. it's aggressive. There's a lot of stuff that goes. What? Into it. Like what? You get a also, venue, a DJ, yeah. get some food, you're done. You know, you know, you know. There's Zoom now, and you have phone calls. It's every other week. You're like, I got to dart down to Mexico. We're gonna be out of Mexico. I got to touch the dirt. <laughs> I got to do. I got to do a, a, an analysis of the soil. That's uh, where the venue is. Like, uh, guys, right now, this is supposed to be like in the lunar cycle, exactly what it's gonna be on my wedding day. So we just want to see where the optimal moonlight's going to hit for the wedding photographer. Actually, got to do that in person. Knowing Jenny, we might actually have to do that. Just yeah, 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 yeah. You're like, you, you just got like a light meter. Yeah. <laughs> now we got to try food and shit, you know? We got to go meet with this ghost hunter just to make sure that our venue's not uh, haunted. It's very oh. important. The hotel that we're staying at is actually haunted. Cool. <laughs> no, it is. I promise. You can, why didn't you plan that? Did not you have to happen. dart down there to make sure? <laughs> like, we actually are trying to What do you mean you have to taste the food? Well, if we're going to hire a caterer, you know, we got to make sure it's good stuff. Why, 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 we did one why, tasting. Why, it sucked. Tacos. Why, why, the, why in a wedding is the only event where you taste the food ahead of time? Normally you're like, yeah, I know a good caterer. Cool. You hire them. Yeah. They bring the food. You're not like, have you tried good wedding food ever? I've had good wedding food, yeah. At the actual wedding, not yeah, six yeah. months before. Yeah, I'm not like, <laughs> oh, you've got, that's why I was like, you got to try this quiche, this finger quiche. Finger quiche. <laughs> It's, all, it's all the same. The foods, by the way, it's, I can tell you what you're gonna try right yeah. now. It's yeah. gonna be a shrimp wrapped in something, yeah. bacon or there's gonna, there's or gonna be a pig in the blanket that they or, give a fancy or, or name or to, or a scallop, a shrimp yeah. or a scallop wrapped in yeah. something. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, yeah, pig in a blanket. There's gonna be some sort of small quiche, and there's gonna be a guys, s- slider, a little mini slider. Yeah. <laughs> tiny, like, tiny tiny clearly, never been to a Mexican wedding then. Oh uh, well, yeah, I'm excited. It's always a styrofoam plate, usually with birria, beans, and rice, and that's fuck it. yeah, birria. So you know what I already know. 
know what that is. Well, that's, yeah. we, we might do like Chilas Rellenos. I uh, know. We got uh, we we to go down there to pick the well, beans. We got <laughs> to taste the different uh, churro dipping sauces. <laughs> what else is going to be on the menu for Mexican wedding? Uh, maybe tequila? birria, maybe enchiladas. Yeah, tequila for We're going to sure. be in tequila, right? Uh, Jalisco. Yeah, we're going to be in Jalisco. And Fuck we yeah. Yeah, might so do make, a tequila trip the next time. So they make the tequila. I like how the buzzers are keep coming in when we're talking about him and he doesn't <laughs> like it anymore. Yeah, it's seven minute mark. Uh, just, I mean, yeah, quarter is over, but I'll, I'll read off kind of quickly the last ones. Mm-hmm. Another one from Pontiff Pope, because this was when we were back from the holiday break. So, have missed y'all so much during your holiday break. I need to see the Merman podcast every Monday morning in my YouTube feed. Dave is rested and ready while our beloved forest is his usual grumpy, funny curmudgeon. Welcome back, heart. Like it. Emoji. Yeah. This guy gets us. Dave's his usual hit or miss, and <laughs> <laughs> when I'm rested, I'm good. Thanks for the coffee. Uh, and then two weeks ago, uh, for that podcast that came out, dun, Willie dun, Q dun, dun, says dun. Manny Puig is a great Miami persona. He is always in the Grove. Don't know what that means. Right, cool. Manny who? Puig. Uh, Manny Puig is the uh, guy from. Uh, he used to be from the Dodgers. Right? <clears throat> that that's no 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 that, that's. It, it, that's he, Puig. Is yeah. what that was. That Who was. the hell is Manny Puig? <laughs> he's he's the guy. He was on. Uh, I don't remember what the Dodgers Jackass. game name was. Yeah. He, so he he's this guy. I, I've seen that guy in the Grove for the past forty years. He like he's like uh, the crocodile hunter of South Florida. He's like, oh, uh, well, yeah, we're gonna I go. know his name, but oh, he's in Jackass. Yeah, yeah. He's like, we're gonna go dive with some Goliath groupers today. You know? Yeah. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, yeah he's, he's the old guy with the long. Head. Yeah, I know him. I remember seeing him at bars all the time too. Yeah. That's exactly. Yeah. He had, like, I remember sh- being in my twenties and Wait, seeing him in the Grove. And he just wants like, us to call Manny Puig. I don't know. I'll call Manny Puig right now. You have his number? No. I won't. <laughs> Willie, I send us his number. Can't be that hard to get. Send us Willie Manny Puig's number, and I can't remember what the Puig is that played for fucking the Dodgers. Uh. 99. Number 99. Yasiel. Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Is it? Got it. Yeah. Yasiel Puig? Hmm. <laughs> so happy. <laughs> Got it. Who's hit or miss now? <laughs> <laughs> Someone knows shit. Hit. <laughs> Double bass. Why, am I yelling and this is affecting the sound? My thing's bit. going in and out. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, that's what it was. Uh, last comment, and we'll wrap it up. Mm-hmm. Again, from our friend Hagsy. Hagsy Man, McDuff, 1106. <laughs> And uh, he says, I always thought no, yeah, was a Midwest thing. It's always, or it's a way to express disapproval uh, about something while agreeing with the entire story. Someone tells a story about Mark being a dick. No, yeah, the steroids have fucked his brain. Uh, oh, yeah. Thanks for the coffee. <laughs> yeah. I can see you? that being cross cultural. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for the input and thanks for the coffee. It's a two minute warning. Wait, yeah. is it two, why is it two minute warning now? I feel like we've been doing this wrong. Two minutes left. Dos minutos. I feel like the two minute warning is should be in the fourth quarter. That's what how it really is, right? Uh, Whatever. Okay. What are you doing? Looking at your calendar? Yeah. When's this come out? When's this come out? Do you have it on your phone now? No, I just want to look and see Uh, where (laughs) this. When does this come out? Uh, this is this is the fifth. fifth of February. The Super Bowls mm. this weekend, idiot. We've been right. talking about well, it. I may or may not be heading to Vegas. Hit or miss. But you know where I will be heading this month? Uh, somewhere in, called Fayetteville, Arkansas. Come on out. I'm going to be in Colorado around the Denver area later this month as well. Um, I think that's the main ones I have to plug. <laughs> Hey, you know what I'm going to plug? April 24th and April 26th, I'll be in Sydney, Australia at the Factory Theater. Go there. April 24th and 26th on my website, foreshaw.net. Tickets are on the April 24th and 26th, Sydney, Australia. So if you're in Australia and you hear this, I also am going to be in Melbourne. I don't have those dates yet. I think it's going to be a week after that at the Comics Lounge, I believe. I don't have that yet, but I'll, I'll announce that soon. And I'm trying to go other places. So I know that uh, I know Richard's like in Adelaide or some shit like that. Yeah. Get on a fucking plane, bro. Come on, Richard. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I'm going to go to Adelaide. Maybe Brisbane, but we'll see. But definitely those are on there on the website now. So buy that if you're in Sydney. Mm-hmm. 20 from 26. At Dave W. Comedy. Thanks for the coffee. For they are the mermaid.